Hi, my name is Neil Cresswell. I'm with the Kickstarter Watches and Horology Microbrands group on Facebook, where we like to review uh, microbrand watches such as these. Uh, this is the entire line of Phoebus Wavemasters in the three colors and the with date, no date version. The green one only comes in no date. So um, I'm kind of wearing two hats today. So for disclosure, um, obviously it's kind of a review. This is more like an overview to give you a, a flavor for what's available on the features. Um, but the other hat that I'm wearing is I also uh, run the microbrand stores, you can see here, and we have these for sale in the store. So full disclosure on that. And I'll try and keep this fairly short. Um, you know, I would recommend go look for some other reviews if you want to uh, get completely independent one. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to be fair and honest about everything that I say, but, you know, uh, I would personally go check somebody else's review always whenever I know somebody's selling a watch. So um, this is more of a you want to see what the color choices are. You want to know what the general pros are about this watch and why somebody might pick it. So it's more I would call this an overview rather than a review. So there we go. Let's get stuck in. So first of all, uh, why do we carry this watch in the store? Why do people like it? This is actually, believe it or not, our second most popular uh, seller in the store. You know, some days we sell a ton of these. Uh, we've the last three months we've had to restock them three times we keep running out of stock we buy them as fast as uh, they can provide them so uh, definitely a very popular watch so why is that the case whether you buy it from us you buy it from Foibos you buy it from somebody else the reason is very simple for under $250 in fact for under $225 you're getting a whole uh, a whole uh, ton of features for your buck uh, the kind of combination that you get here you typically would spend over $500 somewhere. So people like this because they look decent. Uh, it's obviously not a high-end watch, but it's a very reliable watch that uh, has some really good features. So let's just cover the features. Um, obviously, you can see, first of all, um, it comes on a bracelet. This is an engineered bracelet, uh, a stainless steel, 316 stainless steel, solid link with screwed uh, pins. So in order to change the size of the bracelet, all you need is a 1.2 to 1.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver. It takes you all of five minutes. If you've seen other reviews and they've talked about the bracelet, this is a new bracelet that came out in uh, December, literally a few days ago. Um, Phoebus have only started using this recently. The old style bracelets um, had very small screwed pins. Um, these are much larger. So as a result of having uh, small screw pins, they were also helped uh, to stay in place with some clear glue, kind of like Loctite. So it used to be a pain in the butt to resize them, which you may have seen in some other reviews. You'd have to take, you know, basically take the uh, head off, so take the bracelet off the head, watch head using a spring bar tool here and here, and then you would have to either use a hairdryer or, or put them in a, in a glass of hot water just to loosen the, the um, glue and then you can unscrew the screws and take the links out. Real pain in the butt or you could go and get it done professionally which kind of offsets the reason for getting such a cost effective watch. So these ones I've changed all these myself to suit my own wrist and literally I was done in 20 minutes for all five which uh, if my maths is correct uh, means that uh, it really doesn't take more than a few minutes uh, to do each one. I took two links out each side. I didn't even have to take the watch head off. I just opened up the uh, the clasp and uh, pretty much used a screwdriver. No loosening required, uh, no glue involved, and I was done in a couple of minutes. And the nice thing about this as well, once you've resized it, it does have the uh, micro adjustments on the clasp. So there's three positions, uh, roughly the size of one link. So you have some really good variations for if you, uh, you know, winter or summer. If you, uh, I tend to find my wrist size is very slightly different in colder weather compared to hot weather. So, or if I'm going to be doing some strenuous activity, I don't, I don't want the watch moving around on my wrist. I want it fairly tight. But if I'm sitting at my desk working on the computer, it's nice to have it somewhat loose when I'm typing and doing things. So um, definitely that's a big improvement as of a few days ago. Uh, so we have the three colors here. So oh, sorry, I was covering why uh, why this is such a good bang for the buck. So I mentioned the bracelet because normally that costs an extra $50 to $80 uh, when you buy 
a bracelet like this separately. So for an under $250 watch, that's a good value, um, especially as it's solid link and it's screwed pins as opposed to push pins. What else? You have a um, 300 meter diver, not just any old diver. It's an extremely reliable uh, NH35A movement, which is the most popular ch choice in dive watches due to its reliability. It hacks and hand winds and has a very good power reserve. It's an automatic movement. Uh, you have sapphire glass, uh, which is very, which is what you should expect in a dive watch. If you get anything else, then then don't buy it. Will be my recommendation. Uh, and unusual for this price point, you have a ceramic bezel. So that you know, sapphire glass is pretty much almost scratch proof. You need something like a diamond to scratch it. It's extremely um, uh, dense is the wrong word, but it's it, it, it's it's pretty much scratch proof. Very easy to polish out. Same for ceramic bezel. Uh, ceramic doesn't mean pottery. Uh, well, I guess pottery is ceramic, but you know, the, um, basically it's something like zirconia. So it's a very, very scratch proof. You'd also need something like a diamond to scratch it. It's just as hard as the glass. In fact, I think technically sapphire glass uh, is actually a ceramic as well, if I understand correctly. So um, very good features. And um, three one sixty nail stainless steel throughout. Um, what else is there? Let's see, the, the loom is extremely good on these. Um, I'll turn the light off. Uh, in fact, let's just do that now. But you typically get two-tone loom, uh, loom on it, uh, which is a nice feature. I'll come back to that in a second. And um, the crown is a unidirectional crown, 120 click, which is fairly common and ubiquitous, what you'd expect. There's zero back play. I can't get any back play in this. So if you can see, I'm trying to make it go back. It's not loose, so I can't jog it, but it doesn't require much of a grip at all. I can easily twist it quickly or slowly, which is what I like to see in a watch. So it's actually an extremely well done bezel. Um, I've had no issues with any of these that we've stopped. We've had zero returns. Uh, so it's been a very reliable assembly. And uh, so extremely good value for money when you add all these features together so that's the main reason why uh let's cover a couple more things quickly so i mentioned there's a green uh, which is a no date only i did hear today this has been discontinued now so if you can find a green somewhere and you like this color now's the time to get it because it won't be available in future both the blue and the black are still in production there's a date at six o'clock and a no date version for both as you can see here uh, the green has a very nice sunburst on it, extremely strong sunburst that I really go for. It's a metallic sunburst with a Gillespie dial. All three of them, all three colors have this wave pattern Gillespie dial and the sunburst effect. The sunburst effect is very hard to spot on the black though. It's a very subtle gray color. You might be able to just pick it up. So it's a little understated, but uh, having said that, with a more conservative look like that, that could go well with a suit or something. Whereas these are more bright and cheerful, uh, and wouldn't necessarily suit any clothing. These are more, uh, I guess this is more capability in terms of if you like to match your wardrobe. So pros and cons for all the colors. So the blacks are available as are the, the blues. I do believe Phoebos themselves have run out of one of these two blacks. They're going to do another production run around about April 2019 or so. So if you miss the boat, uh, the microbrand store or Phoebos or somewhere else, and you fancy a black one, just hang in there and come back and check on things towards the end of the spring. There should be some more. As I was saying, these are extremely popular. They sell out super quick. Um, and the reason I'm wanting to cover these is, uh, I think, you know, it's, well, putting it bluntly, it's December. You want to buy a watch for someone, uh, family member, don't want to spend too much money, but you want to get something reliable, that's robust, that's not going to break down, uh, that will, uh, you know, if, if you were to get a different brand of watch and mention all these features, probably somebody would be happy paying $500 for it. So, uh, under $250 is a superb price. So um, it might cost more in one or two places. I think um, the best place to shop, obviously I'm going to say the micro brand store, but if you want a comparison shop, the next cheapest place is probably going to be Phoebos themselves at phoebos.com where they ship from China or the US. And uh, there is a Phoebos Europe, but I did notice that's somewhat more expensive. 
the official retail price on these is closer to like 300 the with date version by the way is about 20 dollars more expensive i think it's 300 320 dollars something like that but foibos on their uh, foibos.com site which is their main one they've never had it at the retail price for well over a year now i've been watching it it's always been at the roughly a hundred dollars off at 220 225 something in that kind of price range so the, the the practical price you should be paying for these at retail should be no more than 225 dollars uh, so if you find them retailing for more just wait uh, for the black or the blue and get them from foibus or the microbrand store or somewhere else that's selling them at the cheaper price point um, don't feel you have to buy them just be a little patient um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, do let me know. I think these are awesome divers to own. Um, you know, okay, it's an entry-level timepiece, um, but what you're getting with a mechanical, reliable, automatic movement, the the sapphire and ceramic 300-meter dive, not 100-meter, which is what I would have expected. Um, really nice bracelet, too. Leather straps often look good on... on uh, watches but then they tend to wear out this also looks good on a nato by the way i've tried this with a, a black and white bond nato it looks really good because it picks up on the black from the bezel so um and this one I'm, I'm keeping for myself it's the last one in the store so sorry guys we have no more green available just if, in case you're checking um but yeah if you have any questions let me know um i'll be glad to answer them i do like this watch it's been one of my favorite entry-level watches Obviously, you can get nicer. Um, if you had a few hundred dollars to the price, you can probably start looking at, um, you know, Swiss movements, some more intriguing designs, and some other features that make, um, you know, that, that add to the watch. This is a fairly uniform style of watch, but at least it's not a Rolex clone. They they've kind of gone their own way with their own color scheme, uh, and they've kind of moved away when they Phoebus first started out. They were kind of known for doing um homage watches shall we say so i'm kind of glad they moved away from that and this uh, wave master is my favorite uh choice from all of their series i might review some of the other models that they have but this is the one that we've uh, particularly chosen to carry in the store and i'm really sad they don't have the green it's my my <laughs> anymore it's my most favorite color so uh that's it if you have any questions do let me know and i hope the review was useful thanks a lot take care